What is the most exciting news for Power Platform from Ignite or even arguably from late 2021? It is that Power Apps will now have a pay-as-you-go uh, option. To lead is a remote first company based out of Canada. What makes a world-class Microsoft 365 internet and digital workplace? There's a pricing, new pricing plan. Now you might say, well, isn't there like amazing features? Yes, there's amazing new updates and features. Being able to collaborate on Power Apps, like being able to do a lot of those things from a development perspective is just amazing. Uh, that's going to be a game changer for us as a company that builds tons of Power Apps and Power Automate solutions for customers. But what we, what I think is the most exciting announcement was the pay as you go, because for a lot of customers, the the pre-planning of a Power Apps capacity, right? Pre-planning the licensing implications of that can often be something that stops a project from even getting going in the first place. Right. We, we can do a POC. We can prove that you can build this amazing app that solves this, you know, business solution problem. But we often will, will struggle with uh, kind of committing, you know, some dollars towards it because there's, you know, there's this, oh, what if people don't use it? You know, we're already pre-planning all this licensing. Do we really, you know, are we going to maximize that? You know, this is a really powerful option because it gives us the ability to start working towards business cases that really do have a pay-as-you-go model. And that might not be the right, you know, financial um vehicle right for the organization once they get a better understanding of of uh, their own application architecture and how to, to do these things because of course a big part of what we do with customers a lot is look at however they built it is there a more cost effective way to do this not just for licensing but is there a more performant way so you're, there's always room for optimization but you know this this ability to to remove um, a financial barrier uh, and make power apps more accessible because you know, it can be funded a little bit easier and requires less upfront investment from businesses, uh, you know, more, um, you know, instead of a CapEx, I'm not saying Power Apps or CapEx engagement in the same traditional model, but certainly uh, this gives us more more flexibility on the financial side. So I, I think that's the most exciting announcement um, and it's an easy one to miss from uh, from Ignite uh, for, for Power Apps. So, um, and, you know, it's an interesting hint of what else is possible if you, you know, take um, logic apps for uh, Power Automate and you you kind of make those the pay as you go for Power Automate, you know, there's, there's an interesting gap there that still exists, right, of promoting it to a logic app and everything else. What if we could, you know, have a new pricing vehicle for that to remove some more barriers? You know, I, I'm excited for that potential in the future. Um, and then in the same thing with Power BI, right? We have premium capacity that you pre-buy, but again, I think there's a better way of doing that for pricing. So, um, so Power Apps uh, is a new, arguably a new model of pricing that Microsoft's um, more than experimenting with or bringing to market. And uh, and that really excites me for the cost savings it can drive for customers and, uh, and you know, the, the, the greater uh, usage of Power Apps that hopefully we see in the marketplaces.